Hi there, Julie Hens is here again with a new tip on how to be a happy artist. If you use this tip, your architecture sketches will improve almost overnight. Helping amateur artists create artwork that they are proud of and helping you develop the skills to become a confident artist is my goal and my passion. So if you are interested in creating beautiful urban sketches, keep watching. But before we get started, don't forget to like this video and click the subscribe button. It will help more people to see this video and become better sketchers. Right, let me ask you a question. Do you use a combination of fine liners and watercolors in your sketches? Which do you use first, fine liners or watercolors? <laughs> let me know in the comments section below. As an art teacher, I look through hundreds of sketches a week in Bravebrush Studio, on Instagram and Facebook, and I see a very common mistake many sketchers make. So in this video, I'm going to suggest a way how you can improve. Okay, so here it goes. Many sketchers start with a fine liner sketch and then paint it with watercolors. Nothing wrong with that, I do that all the time too. But many artists make a big deal out of those very permanent black lines when they paint and try to keep inside those lines. Much like children filling in a coloring page. As children when we heard this, stay within the lines. So often we keep doing it as adults. Here are some sketches where you can see how colors are not restricted by the fine liner lines. Of course, to make sure your colors do not look ugly when they mix, you have to know some color theory and color harmony, which I teach in Bray Brush Studio. But that's a conversation for another day. Today I want to show you a technique that breaks this coloring book habit of staying inside the lines. Here's what you should do. Start with watercolors and then, when the paint dries, use the fine liner. First, you make a pencil sketch, as you would normally do. Then make it light using an eraser. Make it barely visible. Next, make a page wet using a large brush and start painting. Yes, you will be painting over the very light pencil lines with only a rough idea of where the objects are. Mix colors on your palette and on your paper. Make them flow into each other, creating beautiful gradients and loose washes. You will notice that it's a bit scary in the beginning, but the more you do this, the easier and more fun it becomes. Then let the paint dry a few minutes. After the paint has dried, draw out the objects with a fine liner. You can use different sizes or colors to emphasize them or to make them less present.
As the final step, add more color and shadows to your sketch. So, step by step, you will create a beautiful loose sketch instead of a boring one that looks like a coloring book. Use this technique many times to give yourself the freedom of watercolor painting. I have a two-hour sketching workshop that demonstrates this technique. If you're interested in doing it, it is available inside Brave Brush Studio, along with my entire archive of classes and workshops. Go to bravebrushes.com to sign up. Alright, that's all for me today. Let me know in the comments below if you find this technique useful. If you like my free content, please consider supporting me and my team with a small donation. Like in the description below.